Hey guys, so this morning I was talking to one of my clients and she, um, it was actually 6am and I was just on fire actually, which is really good. And we basically started talking about, and she's she's given me permission to, to share this as well, but we were basically talking about feeling the fear and doing it anyway. And you've probably heard that saying so many times. And what that was in relation to was about um, was about doing something in your life that you're that you're scared to do, obviously, and just doing it anyway. So, um, just as an example, I was speaking. I put a message up on a status up on Facebook last night, asking if anyone had any DJ friends in Sydney, and I had someone um, tag a really famous DJ, Australian DJ that mixed um, different Ministry of Sound albums when I used to go out a lot in 2005, 2006. Uh, and he, he'd always be at clubs and, uh, and, and doing the Ministry of Sound CDs and, and different albums and things like that as well. So I was so um, shocked when, when she um, tagged him. And um, I added him as a friend and I didn't know if he would add me back, um, but he did and I sent him a message and you know, I actually didn't want to send them, well, I did want to send the message. I was too scared to send the message at first. I thought, oh, he's gonna be ridiculously expensive or he won't be available. He won't even do that kind of thing. I wanted it to, to have a, a little party for some of my clients, end of year party. Um, or, that, um, or that he won't be available or whatever. And then I thought, no, stuff it. Just feel the fear and do it anyway. What's the worst that he can say? He could say yes or he could say no. And that's it. Or it could be beyond what I want to pay or, or whatever. And so he messaged back and he said, yeah, just send me through the details and I'll see if I'm available, which is awesome. That's like so exciting. I'm not going to get too excited before anything's confirmed. But the point is, if you just go out and do something anyway, then you will you'll either move yourself forwards and even if you get a no you've just done it anyway you're overcoming how you were how you were feeling you're overcoming that stuckness and you stop holding yourself back so my question to my client was what areas of your life have you up leveled this year um, so I'm just gonna open some of those up actually uh, so now so basically I've done this in a few areas of my life this year where I it's not because I've got the money or have earned more money but it's because I see myself in a different way. So I spent some money on getting some design a designer to custom make some dresses for me. I and, and that I thought would be ridiculously expensive but I got in touch with him anyway. I have been spending more on travel and spending more on awesome places to stay when I travel. I've been um, up leveling in just a lot of different money areas actually. Um, my mindset around money, um, business courses and coaches that I that I have. Um, and I'm now in a co-working space as well, which I was putting off doing. And I've just up leveled in so many different areas. And that's not because I have more money. Yes, that's part of it. But part of it, it the main part is that I saw myself and decided to see myself in a different way. And so I'm just gonna share some of my clients ones with you now. Basically, she said she's up leveled with her confidence, starting a PT business, which was too scared to do before, um, being seen as a leader, signing up for a powerlifting comp, buying a house, and just in her mindset and positivity in general. And there's areas, other areas that she'd like to up level next year. Now you can see it's not just about money or material possessions or doing things. A lot of these things were internal for her. And um, she sees herself in a different way now because of investing in herself and taking time out to do these things that she was scared and she was holding herself back from before. And it's really just changed her whole life. And now she's at another kind of plateau where, okay, now it's pushing through these barriers again to take it to that next level. And it's always going to be like that. There's always going to be these up-leveling times in your life. You never get to a certain stage and go, okay, I'm done. You always keep growing and expanding. So 
I want you to think about where in your life are you holding yourself back right now because of fear or judgment of others or limiting beliefs or whatever it is. And I want you to think about how you can just feel the fear and do it anyway. Just take action. Choose something and just do it. And don't go, oh yeah, I'll do it next week or I'll do it whenever. I'll do it now. Um, for example, I put off going into this co-working space for so long and now I'm here and it's just awesome to be in a, a, a better environment and I'm going to do a video on that in a second as well. So think about the areas that you have up leveled already this year and what areas you'd like to continue growing or, um, or work on over the next 12 months and then choose something that you're going to do today. Not tomorrow, not next week, not next year, today. Okay, have an awesome day. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you soon.